Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys doing great because I was. I mean, yeah, I've been busy for this few weeks. And yeah, I missed you guys too. All right, let's come to the today's topic. Let the drum roll. So are you buying a car? Of course you're not. Pity pity and have your ass on the seat toss. <laughs> so does your dad have a car? I mean, someone in your family or your friends. So here are the few things that I wanted to explain it to you about the auto insurance. Why? Because I'm a kind of guy that pays attention to the things that you don't like your girlfriend. So here we go. Okay, there are three types of insurances that you can purchase. Third party, third party, theft and fire. Third one is the comprehensive. What is third party? Okay, imagine this. It was a rainy day and you decided to be a moron. You speed through the corner and your car skid and it hits a pedestrian. But unfortunately, you escaped unscathed. Unscathed? Okay, without injury, okay? But your worst fear is the pedestrian suffered from broken limbs. So this is where the third party insurance policy works. It is a policy that protects you against claims for body injuries or even deaths that you cause to others, including and lo any loss or damages to their vehicle and property. It's more like a policy that protects the others than you. Okay, let's go to the other one. It's the third party fire and theft. Okay, fire and theft. Okay, the third part, it's, it's more like the first one, the third party, but there is an add-on about fire and theft. Let's say your car, car caught on fire or it's got stolen, you are liable to claim. So let's come to this important one, the comprehensive. Many of us think this comprehensive covers everything, but you have to know there are two types of comprehensive. Okay, what is a comprehensive coverage? Your insurance will pay for the damages caused by an event other than collision such as fire, theft, or vandalism or you hit an animal or your car is flooded or stolen and what is comprehensive and collision it covers the collision and those other things like you hit a pole or anything so next time when you make a purchase of auto insurance make sure you check on this yeah let's say your dad if you're doing a purchase be a smart boy and let him know about this and there is one more thing that the insurance companies don't want you to know i'm gonna give it to you straight it's called betterment. Lord, I'm doing all I can to be a better man. It's not that better man, it's better meant. B E T T E R M E N T. It's something that your insurance don't want you to know. Or maybe your agent don't want it, don't want to tell you, or maybe he don't know it, about it either. Okay, it's about something uh the coverages, the coverage, the claims. It's about something that your insurance will pay and will not pay. It's about something that you have to pay. Okay, the vehicle is above seven years. When you make a claim, you have to pay like 20%, 25% of it. And if it's eight years, it's 30%. And if nine years, it's 35. And if a 10 year old car, you have to pay like 40% of the damages. Why? A 7 to 10 year old car is already decaying. Your parts are already is decaying. So you are claiming for the part that's already decaying means you are getting a better version of it. Or maybe your car's manufacturer has stopped producing those parts. So you are getting those parts from another manufacturer. So you're getting a very new version of it. To know more about this before you purchase or once you purchase, call your insurance provider or write to them and ask about the betterness because every insurance company have the different policies on that. So that's it for today. I hope you guys like the video. It falls again. That's alright. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment and if I made anything wrong or if there is any wrong information given and correct me. Alright, and don't forget to subscribe and share. I'll see you guys next week. Until then.